If all you're doing to implement the pair method is create folders to put your notes in, then you're severely limiting the capabilities of your second brain. The truth is, folders are just the first level at which you can use the para method. Folders were made over a hundred years ago to organize physical files and cabinets, but now we're living in the digital age. So, in this video, I'll help you level up your para system and take you from level 1 folder beginner to level 3 information expert using my favorite, feature-rich, note-taking app, Obsidian. In level 2, we can overcome the main problem of folders by organizing our notes the same way our brains naturally do. And in level 3, we can personalize our notes by adding different properties which we can then use to automatically organize and find our notes when needed. If you stay until the end, you'll get a chance to download and try out the second brain I'm making in this video, and you'll also get free lessons on how to incorporate the other parts of the code method. Anyways, it's time to finally unlock the power of a second brain. But to do so, we need to start at the basics. Let's start from level 1, which is folders, and work our way up in expertise. So in Obsidian, we can go to the left sidebar over here, and we can find the folder view which we can use to create folders for each part of the para method. So if I just click on this button, create a new folder, make one for projects, make one for areas, resources, and archives. Since this is sorted in alphabetical order, we'll actually have to prefix them with the number. Since we're sorting based on actionability, projects goes first, then areas, third resources, then last is archives. So from here on out, you're pretty much done. Tiago Forte recommends you to create folders based on each project, area, or resource in your life. But before you do so, I want to outline a problem with using folders. So let's say I had a project I was working on, which was a video on how to use a pair method in Obsidian. Very random idea. I, I have no idea where I got it from. And as part of this project, I had a note on how to use folders in Obsidian. But at the same time, let's say I also had a resource for Obsidian itself because I have other notes on how to use the app, like how to format notes in Obsidian. I don't know about you, but this note on how to use folders in Obsidian should be accessible in both this project folder and this resource Obsidian folder. But unfortunately, folders are not made to do that since a note will only be able to be stored in one folder at a time. That's why I wanted to introduce links, which is level two of the para method. With links, you can reference a note in multiple places at once. But to achieve this, we have to go against Tiago Forte's advice. Instead of making subfolders for each project or area of our life, we need to make notes. Yeah, that's right. We're going to use notes to organize notes. Instead of seeing them just as things where you put text in, you can also try to see them as a more customizable version of folders. For example, instead of creating a folder to keep all notes related to this video project, I can create a note instead. So I'm going to create a new note called para method in Obsidian inside my projects folder. And with a folder, we could only organize the notes via alphabetical order as seen by when we were trying to create the para folders. But now we can choose how we can organize our notes through the power of headers, bullet lists, and more. So now I can model the structure of my note organization based off of my script, which has different levels of using the pair method. And then inside I can have subheaders for the different levels. So level one is where I would include using folders in Obsidian. And here is where we can start making links. To create a link, you just type the left square bracket twice. And as you can see, you can now type in the name of any note or select it from here. So we can choose how to use folders in Obsidian. Now if we click on it, we go straight there. But that's not all. Our folder kind of comes to life now, as we now have a space to think and record other information. We can now add context as to why we included this note in this outline, 
and say easiest way to set up para but is also the most limiting and we now have the ability to include other information like maybe the titles i want to use the thumbnails and the script in its entirety and of course the main reason why we did switch to using notes instead of folders we can now go to resources create a new obsidian note and then also make a link to how to use folders in obsidian as well as the other note already in there which is how to format notes so now i can take both of these notes and drag them into the root folder and safely get rid of these folders so yeah just look at the difference instead of only using that subfolder as a means of organization we can add life and other ideas into it so yeah congratulations you've taken the first step to stop thinking in folders next it's time to add some personality to each part of the pair method and to further connect all this information together we can agree that projects areas and resources are all different so why do we create each one based off of a blank note we need to be able to classify each note type and personalize each note based on its type this brings us to level three of the pair method using templates and queries to automate this process and establish the structure to do this though we're going to need a bit more assistance so we can head to settings and turn on community plugins for more features first i'm going to look for the templater plugin which lets us automatically create the structure of a note whenever we create it so i'm just going to install enable the plugin so now we can close this and first we'll need to create a folder to store all these templates in so i'm just going to create one called templates let's first create a template for the project note so we can go to the top here and create a folder to store all of our templates in and in here you right click create a new note i'm going to name it project template so with obsidian notes you can include different properties in them and to do so we can just open up the command palette which is control or command p and we can search up property there's a command to add file property and we can also do this just by pressing control and semicolon so if i click this we can create a property for status and in the status we can use different emojis like red to mean that it's not yet started yellow to mean it's in progress and green to mean it's finished next we can add a property called tags to classify what type of note it is to differentiate between the different notes we have so in this case it will just be project I'm going to press enter and it'll create the tag and lastly i'm also going to have one called links which can let me link it to the higher order note it's related to in this case a project will be part of my projects note so i can link it to my projects we can also add a deadline and we can change the type of the property from text to a date to better fit the occasion if i click on this calendar icon i can choose maybe next week i don't know why it looks like that but we'll just ignore it and lastly to connect it with the other notes in the pair method we can include an area property and in this case this will most likely be used for videos so i'm just going to link it to my youtube channel from there we can just include the structure we had in our pair method in obsidian video note to include titles thumbnails and the script so now we can go to settings templater settings set the template folder location to templates enable this setting that triggers templater on new file creation and in this folder template section we can set it so any note created in the projects folder will automatically use the project template so let's test it out if we right click on projects and then create a new note here we go our template gets loaded up i'm actually going to transfer the contents here into this new note just so it uses the template in this para method in obsidian and we can fill out the remaining properties so status is in progress because i'm technically doing it right now area is my youtube channel since i'll be uploading this video to my youtube and yeah now that we have that finished let's create the templates for the other notes as well so right click on templates new note name it area template 
And now I can use the shortcut to create a property, which is control semicolon. And as you can see, we get recommended properties that are already existing in other nodes. But for an area, we just need tags. So we can label this as an area note and we can add links to link it to my areas. And lastly, we can also create a resource template. This one also isn't that actionable, so we don't need status. We just need tags. Gonna make a tag for resource. And we also need to maybe add an area it's related to. And there we go. Just need to go to settings, templater, and set up the folders to also use the templates. So yeah, with this new classification, we can take our links to another level. Right now, all the links are viewable through backlinks, which we can see by opening up the right sidebar. If we go to um, how to use folders in Obsidian, we can see all the notes that are linked to this note. But being the nerd I am, I want to further organize them based on the note type and see the results in the note itself rather than in this pane. And through this, the note doubles as a dashboard of all related notes, not just the content inside of the note. To do this, we can set up different queries to differentiate the related notes. So to do this, we will need another plugin. I'm gonna go to Community Plugins, Browse, Search Up Data View. And as the summary suggests, this plugin treats our Obsidian Vault like a database that we can query from. So I'm going to install it and enable it and exit. So for this to work, we'll have to create some areas and resources with our newly created templates. So I'm going to just copy the contents here, delete it, and then recreate the Obsidian resource, paste the content, and set the area to my YouTube channel. And for areas, I will create a new note for my YouTube channel. So now, in my project note for pair method in Obsidian, I want to have a new header to show all related resources and to only look for resource notes we can create a query and to do so we just need to type three back ticks which will create a code block type in data view since we're gonna be using code for data view and we're looking to list all of the related resources so we're gonna type in list and and now we only want to see notes that are related to this note so we can type from and then two square brackets to indicate that it has to be linked to this note specifically. And we're looking for only resource notes. So the note has to include the resource tag. So if we exit, no note show. But if we had a new note like the pair method and we had it linked to this pair method in Obsidian note, we head back, look at related resources and it's there. So now, instead of having to make the link on both notes, you only have to create it on one and it will automatically track when you visit this note. So we can add this to our project template and let's create some queries for areas and resources as well. For areas, it would be quite handy to see what projects I have ongoing in this area. So we can do something like projects and then we can create another data view code block. This time we can create a table. And this time we can show properties like the status and the deadline of the project. And we can make sure that it's linked to this note and that it is a project. And if we check out what it looks like, the pair method in Obsidian project note shows. If you wanted to take this one step further and create subheaders, and organize them based off of the status. Maybe you wanted something like a Kanban board. You can have this subheader as not started and we can change this to only include files where the status contains the red square and it won't show anything because pair method in Obsidian has the yellow square to mean it's in progress. So if we create the in progress header and do the same thing, then change the icon and exit we see the project here. And last but not least, we can use these queries to also just show all the different notes of a certain type. And so I'm going to turn this my areas link into an actual note. And let's say in here, I wanted to 
make a list of all the areas I have sorted by alphabetical order, just like so. So to create a query like this, we can just type in the three backticks, data view, we can do list from any note, any note with an area tag, and we can sort the results based on the file name by descending order. So if we exit, we see that we have the area template showing here. So I'm going to also add another condition where the note isn't in the templates folder and I'll get rid of the area template. So now if we were to create another note, let's name it my second brain. If we go back to my areas note, it seems to be in reverse alphabetical order, so we can just switch it to ascending. And there we go. For something like projects, we can create the my projects note. We can sort it by deadline. So then we can do the same thing, data view. We can actually create a table this time since there's more information to show. So we could do table and then for the fields, we just have status, deadline and area. And it would be from any notes with the project tag and are not in the templates folder. And we would sort this by deadline descending. No, ascending. So then if I were to create another project note, test project, change this date to September 28th, and then go back to my projects, you can see it gets sorted in the correct order because the year month date format naturally also sorts it in alphabetical order. Unfortunately, the pair method is just a fraction of what you need to know to fully set up a system to capture, organize, distill, and express your knowledge inside Obsidian. Go to the description and sign up for my free email course to learn exactly how to do so. You'll get the vault I made in this video for free and you'll learn how to upgrade it to finally start building your own second brain. Alternatively, if this is your first time hearing about Obsidian and you want to know more about how to learn how to use it, you can watch this video right here. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. This has been John Maverick. Stay mindful.